A study from York University has reported concerning findings about the impact climate change is having on the Great Lakes. In our lake ice study that we recently published, Lake Superior lost the most ice cover than any of the other lakes in terms of its trends and warming. And uh, it has lost two months of ice cover uh, since 1857. Lake Superior was also found to be the second fastest warming lake on Earth when it came to water temperatures. When we were calculating our trends, we had to double, double and triple check because they were so fast. And um, we haven't seen trends like that uh, in any of the, our previous studies as well. So that was, that was the alarming part, was how fast things are changing. And it seems to be related to more extreme winters, extremely warm winters, and years in which uh, our lakes that have reliably frozen every year are beginning not to freeze. Warming temperatures mean that ice is forming later in the fall and melting sooner during spring. Less ice coverage during the year exposes the lake to more heat, which causes it to warm up and make it harder for ice to form. Primarily, the Great Lakes are warming so quickly in response to warming air temperatures. So warming air temperatures are directly uh, linked to uh, reduced ice cover um, because you need temperatures to be below zero degrees Celsius for water to freeze. And they're also directly linked, and in both cases, the most important factor to water temperatures. Many lakes in the Northern Hemisphere are rapidly warming, and experts say that this will have ecological, cultural, and socioeconomical consequences. People use, use the water from the Great Lakes, and we need it to survive. Um, and having warmer temperatures and less ice cover has like these ecological implications that influences people directly. When you have warmer water temperatures, uh, it's more favorable for algal blooms. And uh, that, that can affect our water quality, as you probably know from the situation in Lake Erie and Toledo, Ohio, that have that huge water, uh, that algal bloom, um, which includes some toxic algae and it affected the water supply, drinking water supply for hundreds of thousands of people for a few days. So these ecological patterns that are happening in Lake Superior really have these widespread influences on our drinking water supply.